Now, what then? Before you read that, let me address, because when I preached about the way those sisters should look, many of the people, black men, wrote in and I've never been called nigger so many times. Black men was calling me nigger. Some called me a coon. <laughs> called me a Uncle Tom. Because we preached that women should be dressed. I didn't mind it. But let's see, am I this nigger that you claim? Because the one that made the nigger was the slave master. Let's see, am I a nigger or you? Now, the slave master wanted to strip the clothes off the black female. And he wanted her to be a plaything. He wanted him for his amusement, for his property. And the slave master will share the woman or her daughter and lend her to other associates of his so they would pass around mothers daughters niece aunts grandmother the slave master didn't want you to have clothes on the slave master would play music so the woman can strip for him dance for him and then as a reward he may give her a little something It's the father or the husband that when she would come back, he felt ashamed and would throw a, a blanket over her. Now, here I am like the old father. Want to cover up our women. But here you are you are like the slave master. You want our women to remain naked? You want our women breasts to be out? You want our women backside showing? You want our women to show their thighs? And yet you call me a nigger. Will the real nigger stand up? laboring to put clothes on you and yet you black men call me a coon because you're too weak to tell your wife put clothes on you're weak let's deal with this I want three brothers go to the back there. Huey, you go. Get two other brothers with you. I got three images back there. Two other brothers go with Huey and pick it up from the bottom. Move the trees out the way. Pick the three images up from the bottom and set each one in the front. Don't uncover them. Don't uncover them. Just bring them out and Pick it up from the bottom. We're going to deal with this. We're going to deal with this another way. We're going to deal with this in a way it never had been dealt with. I thank God for television. Because I want to tell you the vision. And show it to you. Come on brothers, let's move quick please. Let's bring it on out. One by one, take your time, get it from the bottom, you let them get through here, you all right Ellis, you all right, let them come around, one by one, you're not going to have no excuse, set that one over there, right there, right there. Turn it around a little bit. 
Set that one right there. Set that one right there. Keep your hand on the bottom. Turn around so the feet is facing this way. All right. Just like that. You good. All right. You good. Thank you. Everybody all right? Glory to God. Now, to my so-called Christian women and men who cuss me out, give me the book of Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. I want everybody to follow me in the Bible because I'm pretty sure. Now, I, I, I hope this go viral. <laughs> I hope it does. All right, follow me in your Bible. First Timothy chapter 2, and we're at verse 9. Listen. In like manner also. Bible talking. In like manner also. That women. That who? Women. That women. Adorn themselves. Adorn themselves. In modest apparel. In modest apparel. With shame facing. Shame facing. And sobriety. What? What, what else? Not with broided listen, hair. Listen, listen good. Not, Not with, with broided hair. Broided hair, hair decoration. Or, or gold. Gold. Or pearls. Or pearls. Or costly array. Now, many of you have wrote me and said, makeup is not in the Bible. This is what you church folk look like. One of you brothers get that side for me, will you please? Quickly, please. Come on, brother. Set that over there. Set that over there. Two of you brothers uncover this one. Two of you brothers uncover this one, please. Take your time. Uh-uh. Take your time. Take your time. I don't want you. Take your time. Pick that up down there. That's why you didn't take your time. You took the Christian wig off. Put it on. Now, you Christians, you have so-called Christian celebrities that look like this. You have some first lady in churches, pastor wives, you look like this. You let your children look like this. You let many of the mothers in the church look like this. You go to so-called Christian concerts and the women look like this the bible says in like manner also in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel what is so modest about this what is so modest about this there was some women wrote me when they heard me preach against it and said, my pastor don't say nothing. I most certainly know he don't. Your pastor wants to see this. Yeah. Your pastor wants to see this. Yeah. Because your pastor wants to go here. Yeah. Am I right, I said? Talk to me. Give me Jeremiah. Yes. Chapter, chapter four. Now for you that says makeup is not in the Bible. Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter four. The fourth chapter. And at verse 30. Follow me in the Bible and verse 30. Oh, I this is good. Come on. Jeremiah chapter four and verse 30. Yes. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? You see. When you spoiled in these churches, you can look like this. Because the preacher preach against no sin. T.D. Jakes ain't going to say nothing about this. Creflo Don ain't going to say nothing about this. Joel Austin ain't going to say nothing about this. Your bishop, he ain't going to say nothing about this. When you up on the choir like this, your bishop looking at you. I 
Am I right, I say? Amen. Listen. And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? What will you do? Though thou closest thyself with crimson. The Bible said you close yourself with crimson. Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. What else? Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. Your face have what on it? Thou rinnest thy face with painting. You see it? The Bible says. Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. How do God feel about the way this look? In vain. In what? In vain. What do they do in vain? Thou shalt make thyself fair. You think you look beautiful, but in God's eyes, your fair look is vanity. Vanity. This is what church has become to. You look on BET, the choirs look like this. Baptist folk. Like this. Non-denominational. Like this. Right. So-called apostolic. Like this. Catholics. Like this. Give me Leviticus 10.10. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Listen now what the Bible says. That thou shalt put a difference. What did it say? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Turn Williams up. Make him louder. Yeah. Leviticus. What is it? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Leviticus 10, 10. I want all my viewers to get this, get this, get this. Call the ones that hate it and say, look at what that crazy Pastor Dennis got on television now. That's right. You know why some of you upset? Because this look like your mama. This look like your daughter. This look like your wife. This look like your slacking wife. This look like the pastor wife. And that's why you upset with me. Because we call a spade a spade. This is not the look of a Christian woman. No. Talk to me. Somebody posted a video of the excerpt of the clip of me preaching next to some gospel singer. She was dressed like this. Singing about Jesus. Talking about let's sing praises. A gospel singer dressed like this. And yet you men want to fight me. Women. You know why men cuss me out? Because I'm encouraging you to be modest. Because they want to keep playing with you like the slave master. They want you to look like a hoe. Go ahead. So they can make it rain. They want you to look like this. So they can keep driving and bumping their horn. They want your daughters to look like this. So that old hypocrite can take advantage of your daughter. They want your wife to look like this so they can take advantage of your wife. So that's why they call me nigger. Call me what you want. But we're going to put clothes on our women. Bible said that the women adorn themselves how? In modest apparel. Come here, Sister Bailey. Modest. Come here, Sister Bailey. She's the church photographer. Stand right here. Stand right here. This is modest. Come here, Sister Jennings. Come here quickly, please. This is modest. Modest of power. Now, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with it? 
How in the world you expect for a man to come at church and think about Jesus and you looking like a stripper? Talk to me. Bible says, let the women that women adorn themselves how? in modest apparel. Modest. Modest. Respectable. Presentable. You may be seated. Even some jobs got a dress code. Am I right, I said? So you on the hip hop network, y'all heard y'all making fun of me and said, oh man, uh, he must really got a whole man for him to lash out. Hmm. All that weak talk. You see, your mothers, your daughters, your niece and aunts, they're like this. You women, you send your daughters out with something tight like this. And these old men looking at your 15, 17 year old daughter. How in the world can you criticize what I'm telling you? Listen, even if I'm not in church, this is morally wrong. Morally, it's wrong. Bible says that women adorn themselves. Go back to the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30. Back in Jeremiah chapter 4 and that verse 30. Let's get the makeup. And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? You see, your man, if I use that term, keep you this way. And you're spoiled. Spoiled. And you upset because here I come stripping you out of it. Your man. And for some of you, your man is your pastor. He wants you to dress like this. On the choir. What's wrong with the way God made you? Sister, why you need this? You know your hair's not that color. Sister, why do you need this? You know God didn't make you that way. Why you don't think it's something wrong for you to be in church on a choir like this? Grandma with tights on like this. Men, your wives come out like this. They're all right, brothers. They come out like this. How you don't see nothing wrong? Listen. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? What will you do? Though thou closest thyself with crimson, and though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, and though thou rinnest thy face with painting, and in vain. Wait a minute. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. Vain. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. In vain what? Shalt thou make thyself fair. Leviticus 10.10. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 10. And that ye may put difference. You can see him. Now, this is what the so-called Christians said. God said he ain't looking at the hour. Give me the book of Samuel. When yeah. God sent the prophet down right. to, uh, to the house. To look among Jesse house. Right. This is the scripture that they use. I want to get every scripture they got in mind. So I can wreck it. They said. God said. Come as you are. God ain't never said that. God did not say. Come as you are. If you do come as you are. Fine. But that don't mean for you to stay. As you are. Listen at this in the book of Samuel. First Samuel chapter 16 and we're right at verse 7. Everybody all right? Samuel, first Samuel 16. And at verse 7. Begin at verse 7. 
But the Lord said unto Samuel, the Lord said to Samuel, look not on his countenance, don't look on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, the height of his stature, because I have refused him. I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. The Lord don't see as man see. For man looketh on the outward appearance. Man look on the outward appearance. But the Lord looketh on the heart. The preacher switched that around and said, God said he don't look at the outward. God ain't said that. No. Let me prove to you that God do look at the outward. Now, in that scripture, had nothing to do with clothing. No. That scripture had to do with came time that God wanted a king, a future king for Israel. Right. And when the sons of Jesse came by, Samuel immediately responded to the first son that he saw. Right. And God corrected him and let them know, no, 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 don't you look at the Good statue hand. or the height of the statue or none of that because I have refused him. Right. And God was letting Samuel know that what I may get may be the one who you least expect. Right. And the one they least expect was David. Right. Until David was out there keeping the sheep. And uh, Samuel asked, well, look, is all your sons here? Jesse said, no, there's one. And he's a young, rudy looking fella. He's out there keeping sheep. People didn't know the reason why David was keeping the sheep. It was dress rehearsal because keeping the sheep represented him being a king and the sheep represented him ruling over Israel. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Right. All right, let's have it. Now in 1 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 3. This is for you that says God don't look at the outward. You are liars. Right. Your pastor is a liar Amen. and your husband. Amen. Listen at what I'm telling you. 1 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 3. What is it? Who's adorning. Who's adorning. Let it not be that outward adorning. God is saying he don't want you to dawn yourself outward in a certain manner. And what is that manner? Of plaiting the hair. Uh oh. Our women can't plait the hair. And no of, braids. No plait. What else? And of wearing of gold. Mm. No bling bling. Amen. And or of putting on of apparel. Supposed to be a difference. The Bible said if any man be in Christ, here's what? New preacher. If this the way you dress when you was a sinner, you ain't got no business still dressing like this and you born again. Right. There got to be a difference. Difference. All right. Take that one off, brothers. Two brothers, please. Just take it off. Come on now. Just take it off. I want to get the men. Men. Because a lot of women was complaining that I just got them. Take this hoodie off of them. I don't, I don't need that. I don't, be careful. I don't want to take the whole hoodie off. Be careful. Take the hoodie off because what I want to focus on is what our sloppy men look like. Yes. Now to all men. Go ahead. Now, I know many of you will write me and said, you ain't got no Bible justify you doing that. Let's, in the book, how, let's get some Bible. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19. And I want to get power and demonstration from Brother Paul. Right. Read that. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19 and at verse 29. That's what? A man may be known by his look. A man may be known by his look. And one that hath understanding by his countenance. Yes. When thou meetest him. When you meet him. A man's attire. A man's clothes. And excessive laughter. And excessive laughter. And gait. And gait. Show what he is. Now I want to demonstrate this. Paul said he demonstrated. Now you men. Will you please explain. You men, will you please explain? 
complain. Why do you want your filthy drawers exposed to the public and why are you walking with your pants down like you's a male whore? Am I right, man? Am I right, I say? Hoorah! You got so-called Christian performers up on a stage like this singing about Jesus like this preacher sons like this you know they had this trash reality show called the preachers preachers of LA and you see them like this you folks are no Christians what do this trash got to do with Jesus? First Corinthians chapter 2. Give and chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter 2 and we're at verse 4. Listen. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Not what? But in demonstration. I'm going to demonstrate this. Amen. Of the spirit and of, of the power. Of the spirit and of what? And of power. And of power. Power that your faith that your belief should not stand in the what wisdom, in the wisdom of men. This is the wisdom of men. The wisdom of men says nothing wrong with looking like this. That's right. The wisdom of men say you can be a Christian and look like this. That's right. The wisdom of men say God ain't looking at your hour, you're looking at your heart. You see, you men that dress like this, your bishop said it ain't nothing wrong because that gay man looking. How is it you men feel so all right, all right. with your butt Go ahead. exposed to each other? Even a dog drop its tail to hide its private parts. Am I right, I said? Even a dog. Yeah. Put his tail down yeah. to hide his private parts. That's right. You was made in God's image. Look how disgraceful you became. You look like a male whore. You look like a male prostitute. You look like a male stripper. Now you talk about you from the hood. I'm from the hood. A man that's a real male from the hood don't advertise his butt. You look gay. This is a sign that you're making a booty call. Now I know you don't like this and you know I don't care if you don't. Your father is like this. Grandfather, like this. Your son, like this. Father, like this. Wife, like this. Mother-in-law, like that. And you going to some church. Go ahead. Give me five brothers starting from Damien. To Marcus, all five of you brothers, six of you brothers, come up. Stand from here over. Go over. Right, come on, close it in. Slide down a little bit more. I, I don't want you to block this strange being. Now, we are new creatures because we're in Christ. This is how we should look. Even if we don't have a suit on, our pants ain't got no business sagging. And we ain't got no business outside like this. That's right. Because we are of God. That's right. And the Bible says, he that is of God will hear us. That's right. How in the 
world can a so-called Christian look like gang bangers? Look like hoodlums. Look like bank robbers. Look like a bunch of hoods wants to run a train on a girl. Why in the world? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Someone said, no, I ain't going to pull it up. Why you ain't going to pull it up? Because anytime you men around each other like this, undoubtedly this is what you're doing. Call a spade a spade. You a real man? You gonna have this stuff up on you. But because you're not a real man, you satisfied with it right there. Now, you want the female to look at you here. Because you a trap. Because a real man don't advertise his productive organs. Pull that up just a little bit. A holy old shit like And then you like this when you leave church. I hate the smell of water. It's not your hair. Who made you hate the texture of your hair? Who made you hate the look of your hair? You got Jezebel in church. church. The whoredom of a woman. Give chapter and verse. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26, and we're at verse 9. That's what? The whoredom of a woman. The whoredom of a woman. May be known in her haughty looks. May be known in her haughty looks. And eyelids. Here, your eyelids is in the case. Look how fake you are. You hate yourself so bad. You get hair out of a box. You get eyelashes out of a box. You get new lips out of a box. You get fingernails out of a box. Toenails out of a box. God brought you from the man, not from no box. That's right. What driven you to hate yourself so bad until you were called this ugly Jezebel look? Yeah. Beautiful. beautiful. What's so beautiful? Give me 2 Kings, the ninth chapter again, chapter again. verse 22, yeah. and again, verse 30. Right. This is the, the look of Jezebel. I want you to follow me in your Bible. 2 Kings, chapter 9, starting at verse 22. All right. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu that he said, is it peace, Jehu? Yes. And he answered, what peace? What peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel. So long as the whoredoms of your mother Jezebel. And her witchcrafts are so many. All right, let's see what Jezebel looked like. Down at verse 30. Did you give chapter and verse? Second Kings chapter 9 and verse 30. Let's get Jezebel look. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel. And? Jezebel heard of it. Jezebel heard the man of God was coming in town. And she painted her face. Wait a minute. When who? What's, what's the woman's name? Jezebel. What did she do? She painted her face. Makeup. Makeup. Right. Painted. Makeup. She did what? She painted her face. You see, the Bible don't use the word makeup because the word makeup did not exist right. back then. But God covered it face paint. It ain't nothing but face paint. Face paint. She painted what? And she painted her face. Painted. She painted. did what? Painted her face. Do, do, do we got any more? Do we got any more makeup? Do we got any more? I wish you would have had some here. Painted. She did what? She painted her face. That's you so-called Christian. Now cuss me out. Yeah. Tell me the Bible is wrong. Right. The Bible is right. You're wrong. Right. 
That's right. These other celebrities talking about it ain't no man should be teaching on what you should wear. That make the Bible a lie. That's right. The Bible says. And she painted her face. She did what? She painted her face. And she did what? She painted her face. Painted, painted. She did what? She painted her face. Who did it? Jezebel. Who? Jezebel. What do the preacher wives look like? She paint Jezebel. What do the preacher's daughters look like? Jezebel. First lady in the church. Jezebel. Women on the choir. Jezebel. Women on the organ. Jezebel. Women ushers. Jezebel. Women in so-called Christian concerts. Jezebel. Mothers in the church. Jezebel. Jezebel. Glory to God, glory to God. And she painted her face. She did what? She painted her face. Painted. Now. Painted. They have gotten so backward. The man is not only like this in the so-called Christian church. Ricky Smiley. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mr. Ricky Smiley, I got your letter. I'll read it tomorrow on our telecast. But before I read it, here's a challenge to you. Grandma Jenkins or whatever you call yourself. The last weekend of July. Give me the last dates of July quickly, please. The last Sunday of July. What date is that? July 29th. What is the last Sunday of July, please? July 29th. Mr. Smalley. I heard all that smack you're talking. Amen. All right. July 29th. Mr. Smalley, I challenge you to an open televised debate. Is it God will for women to look like this? And is it God will for you to look like this? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and at verse 5. Now, Mr. Smiley, Tyler Perry. Go ahead. All you fake Christians that hide under Jake's. Jake's can't protect you from what I'm preaching. Jace can walk around all. If Jake's represent God, why won't he tell Tyler Perry to come out of your woman clothes? Yeah. this with Bible. Bible. That's right. Hollywood ain't coming in here. Go ahead. Entertainment ain't coming in here. Yeah. The Bible says the Lord is in his holy temple. God church is supposed to be sacred. How? 
in the world can a Christian man or Christian woman look and laugh at a man dressed like some woman Amen. and pay money, pay money to see it? You may say, well, it's my job. Anytime Hollywood can offer you money to dress like a woman, what else will you do for Hollywood? Hollywood is a big pimp. Amen. Any man that get dressed like a woman, you get paid. You have sold your manhood. Amen. You have let your creator down. You sold your manhood for money. He that get his riches. You took your manhood and threw it in the trash for money. A real man ain't putting on no dress. A real man ain't putting on no wig. A real man ain't wearing no lipstick. A real man ain't wearing no fingernail polish. A real man ain't wearing no dress. A real man ain't wearing no heels. Am I right, I said? Give me Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and at verse 5. Give chapter and verse again. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and at verse 5. Deuteronomy 22 and 5 says. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall not wear that which pertain to a man. A woman should not be dressed so she look like a dude. You should be able to look at a woman to tell the difference between her and her husband. Am I right, I said? What else? The, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What else? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Hold it. You brothers, Rob and Shay, come here quickly. Take this off. So can you get that off? Mm. Can, can you get it off? Don't take the arms off. I don't want the arms off. Come on, I need y'all to kind of move a little quick. And I need two sisters to please undo this. Come on, sisters, please. One of you, just come on and get up, please, and just undo this. Don't sit and look at me. Come do this. Come do it. Take the mess off. I want to show Go you ahead. what these men are doing. Go ahead. Don't look at me frowning. They ain't real. This what? It's twisted? It's a onesie? All right, all I, I want is the top off. That's all I need is the top off. You know why I want the top off? Because I want to correspond with what he's reading. Right. If you can't get it off, you got any extra clothes upstairs? If you got any extra clothes upstairs or, or some baptismal clothes, something, I'm going to demonstrate this until people get so mad they turn it off, they cuss, they kick the screen over. I don't matter. I'm going to manifest your folly today. Yeah, take your head off, too. Put it on him for me. Read, Williams. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Keep reading it. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Keep reading that part. The, neither, neither shall a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Keep reading for, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Keep reading it. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Tyler Perry. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Ricky Smiley. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Tyler Perry. For, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Ricky Smiley. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Tyler Perry. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Keep reading. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Tyler Perry. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy Ricky God. Ricky Smiley. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Tyler Perry. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Amen. Y'all can take her away. Take her away. Don't take that away. 
Just one or two of you brothers, help them, please. Just take the whole thing away. Just take it back. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, Tyler Perry. Amen. Ricky Cross dressing Smiley. How do you fellas manage to claim Jesus and you are an abomination? Abomination. Read the Bible. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so. Actors. All that do so. Entertainers. All that do so. They do it to get paid. All that do so. They do it to get a laugh. All that do so. What is it? Are abomination. Unto the Lord thy God. Ricky Smiley. Amen. You got so much talk. Face me like a man. Amen. Man up. Amen. 29th of July. I challenge you. To see can you live up to all what you said. Amen. Face me like a man. Yeah. You can bring Perry with you. You can bring Jake's with you. In fact, you can bring anybody with you. Amen. All I deal with is Bible. 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 I just don't talk. You see, I'm a man. Yeah. When my children look at me, they don't think I'm their mama. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right, I said? Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Young men look up to these actors. And if they see these men getting dressed like women, yeah. the young men gonna want to do it. Yeah. But you got this sick Hollywood generation that say ain't nothing wrong looking like this. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. This is an abomination to who? Unto the Lord thy God. It's not an abomination to Ricky Smiley. It's not an abomination to Tyler Perry. And it's not an abomination to T.D. Jakes. No. No. Tyler Perry come out looking with this foolish look, Medea. Fake breasts. Fake hips. Lipstick. And then do all that cussing. Cussing. And then go to Jakes. Shock, talababa, sock, talababa. That's trash talk. That ain't the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's trash talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Bible says the Holy Ghost do not behave himself unseemly. How you gonna get dressed up like this and hakalava shatta the no, no. Fools make a mock at sin. What did the Bible say? In the book of Proverbs, chapter fourteen, and at verse nine. Oh, we gonna hit hard. Oh, yeah. You see, if I was preaching for money, I couldn't preach this. No way. I'm not rich, not wealthy, no. but we got a rich gospel. Amen. We preach what men are afraid to preach. We deal with what churches are afraid to deal with. And what our church is afraid to deal with is the reality of sin. Amen. They scared to preach against sin. When you preach against sin, folks won't give money. That's right. That's right. We are preached against the wickedness of the world if you don't give a dime. Amen. Do you hear the Bible? Proverbs chapter 14 and at verse 9. Proverbs 14 and 9. Fools make a mock at sin. Listen, anytime you get dressed up like a woman and the people and you're doing it to crack jokes with the Bible, a man gets dressed like the woman supposed to be singing gospel. Yeah. You making a mockery at Mock. abomination. That's right. How is it you Christian people, so-called, can pay to see Ricky Smiley? Yeah. Get dressed like a woman. Oh, Pastor Jenny, that's entertainment. The Bible says fools make a, a fool mock make mockery at sin. You don't take sin for what it is. That's right. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. death. Didn't it say so? That's right. 
What else did it say? Fools make a mock at sin, and but among the righteous there is favor. Among now, the righteous there is favor. Now in Proverbs chapter 16 and at verse 2. Says what? All the ways of a man are clean. How? In his own eyes. Ricky Smiley, you don't see nothing wrong with looking like a woman. That's right. And you're supposed to be a man? That's right. All men. Amen. Sinner. Or not. Or not. If Hollywood can make you like this, you have sold your manhood. Amen. You're an embarrassment to men. You're an embarrassment to God's understand. The Bible said the whole and they being and to me out. And I guess who when they put this excerpt up, you thought you can pressure me for some reason. One man wrote me and said, How do you feel being under so much heat? <laughs> he. 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 <laughs> Don't you know the form of the fourth one that was in the fire looked like the Son of God? I don't feel no heat. I don't feel no heat. God took the flame out of the heat. Hallelujah. Truth of God don't feel no heat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's no heat. Hallelujah. The world is talking about this message. Hallelujah. The world is talking about this message. This, this message. Even if you don't agree with it. Even if you don't like it. It got the sinner and a so-called Christian arguing with each other about this message. You're doing what God wants you to do. There, I'm going to go take God. No pressure here. No heat here. The only heat we got is the Holy Ghost. John said, one, come after me. Who shall do it to God? Who shall baptize you? With the Holy Ghost. And that with fire. Do it to God. That's the only heat we have. Hallelujah. That's the only heat we have. The Holy Ghost. You sinners and news outlets, you don't got what it take to put heat on us. Go ahead. You ain't got what it take to put pressure on us. God got the church hedged in like he hedged in Job. You actually thought by your ranting and raving that would make us get depressed and come back and say, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Yes, I said, you look like organ playing hoes, drum playing hoes, choir singing hoes, church going hoes. Yes, I said it. And I say it again. You look like horse. That's exactly what you look like. We ain't taking it back. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're not taking it back. Hallelujah. The Lord says, my word will not 
return unto me void. We ain't taking it back. It's time for the church to clean up. God church and the church of men are not the same. They claim you saved, drinking, smoking, gambling, partying, looking like prostitutes and strippers, hands, pants hanging down, and you represent Christ? No, you represent club, you represent party, you represent strippers, you represent prostitution, and you represent pimping. Go ahead. Go ahead. If any man. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Give chapter and verse again. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and we're at verse 17. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore. Therefore. If any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. It's good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you feel new, new, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, it's a good feeling. Hallelujah, don't smoke no more. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, don't party no Hallelujah. more. Hallelujah, don't drink no more. Hallelujah, 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 no more. Hallelujah, 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 no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 H
Away. Pass away. No more smoking. No more drinking. No more gambling. Go ahead. No more cussing. Go ahead. No more partying. Go ahead. No more shooting pool. Hallelujah. No more shooting dice. Hallelujah. All things. No more lying. Hallelujah. No more swearing. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. No more away. dressing like a woman, Hallelujah. and you a man. All things, what? Are, all things are passed away. Behold, all things. Turn Williams' mic up back there. Amen. Turn Williams' mic up back there. Hallelujah. What did it say? Therefore. Therefore. If any man be in Christ. If any man. Amen. If any it's man. It's all right. Get some water. If any man be in Christ, is everybody all right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If any man, if any man be in Christ, be in Christ, he is a new creature. He is what? New. Hallelujah. New. What did he say? Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if any man, Tyler Perry, Hallelujah. Ricky Smiley, Hallelujah. If you're in Christ, he is a new creature. You're supposed to be new. New. New creature. And what happened? All things are passed away. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Why isn't your wig passed away, passed fellas? Passed away. Hallelujah. Why isn't your women clothes passed away? Amen. Why isn't those woman pantyhose? Go ahead. Passed away. Passed away. Why isn't those women lipstick and earrings Amen. that you grown men keep wearing? Why isn't it passed away? Passed away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. You fellas. Hallelujah. That call me nigger. Hallelujah. You know why you do that? Hallelujah. Because what we preach is getting under Hallelujah. your skin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil know Hallelujah. there's not a program in America that's real like this. Um, the devil knows it. Hallelujah. Nothing coming out of America. Hallelujah. 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 Certain topics Hallelujah. are off limits Go ahead. to apostolics, Go ahead. Pentecostals, non denominational, yes. Baptists, Catholics. Hallelujah. Certain subjects, subjects are off limits. Hallelujah. But to God, God, ain't nothing off limits. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If any man. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. That's right, Richardson. Go and take God if any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. New creature. Hallelujah. New creature. I'm not afraid of your threats. Go ahead. I don't fear no man threats. Hallelujah. I'm not intimidated by no man. I don't fear no man. Hallelujah. And nothing a man say can make me backtrack this message. That's right. Calling Hallelujah. me names. Oh, you know, children said, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names shall never hurt. I don't care about your names. No. Hallelujah. You can call me nigger, coon, handkerchief head. Hallelujah. That's all well and good. That's good. When you're done, repent. Repent. And be baptized. Be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. Every one In of the you. name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You must receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. You must. 
Hallelujah. This is the Holy Ghost filled church. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. 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 Only the Holy Ghost can arouse that devil in a man. Yeah. And make them crowd around the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. When the apostles was here, the Holy Ghost upset the people so they said we gotta stop these men stop, stop them. for they turned the world yeah. upside down that's right hallelujah holiness is turning the world hallelujah. upside down it's turning the world upside down Oh, it can't stop. That's what it's doing. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. This message, this message has started a revolution, bringing about change. Men, women, boys, girls want to get it right. Black, white, brown, yellow. Black folk mad with me. Because they see white folk in here. Hallelujah. White folk wrote me and said, why is it so many blacks? Well, you come on in here and subtract from the number. Hallelujah. Isaiah said the mountain of the Lord's house. Of the Lord's house. Shall be established. Shall be established. In the top of the mountain, of the mountain, and exalted, and shall be exalted above the hills. Who's coming? And all nations, all black nations, all nations, just all black nations, all nations, just all white nations, all nations. God want all nations to do what? Shall flow unto it, all nations. Yeah, and when the nations come, and, what are they gonna say? And many people, many people, shall go and say, "Come ye." <laughs> Hallelujah! Come on! Let us go up! Let's go up! Hallelujah! To the mountain of the Lord! To the mountain of the Lord! House. To the house of the God of Jacob! To the house of the God of Jacob! And, and He will teach us! He will teach us! Of His ways! Hallelujah! Now, Hallelujah. He said He will teach us of, of His, his ways. ways. And when you learn God's ways, it ain't just white folk. No. When you learn God's ways, it ain't just black folk. Mm. It's for all nations. All nations. Hallelujah. All right, you that are here. It's time for you to break up your folly ground. Break up. Hallelujah. You might as well get ready to lay down your vanity. Yeah. I believe I want to close out with Genesis, the strange gods. If I'm correct, I believe the 35th chapter of Genesis, if I'm right. not mistaken. Right. And begin about the second verse. Amen. Get there quickly. Everybody all right? Genesis chapter 35, and we'll start at verse 2. Mm -hmm. Then Jacob said unto his household. What? And to all that were with him. Jacob said to his household and everybody that was with him. Put away the strange gods that are among you. Put away the strange gods. That are among you. Now, listen closely. And Put away. The strange gods that are among you. And be clean. Be what? And be clean. Be clean. And change your garments. And change your clothes. And let us go arise. What Now, what was the strange gods that they pulled off? Read on. And let us arise and go to Bethel. Yes. And I will make there an altar unto God. Yes. Who answered me in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which I went. Yes. At verse 4. All right. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand. What was it? And all their earrings which were in their ears. What was the jewelry called? Strange gods. And what did they do? Which were in their hand. What did they take off? And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand. And? And all their earrings. And? Which were in their ears. And? And Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. Get them strange gods off your body. That's right. That's right. 
Hallelujah. Pull off them strange gods. Hallelujah. Your jewelry is strange gods. Strange gods. Because there is only one God. Repent. Everybody got to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and leave your religion. Yes. You got to leave your religion. Yeah. You don't need to get baptized and stay in that fake religion you're in. You still go to hell even if you're baptized right. That's right. Repent and be baptized. Christ. Every one of you. You that are here, that goes for you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now if there's anybody here that want to get right with God, not get right with Pastor Jennings, get right with God and get your sins washed away. Stand on your feet if you want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet. Anyone? We got one? Wonderful. Hallelujah. You that are standing, we got two. You that are standing, you see where they're standing back there? Go right back there where they are. Hallelujah. Take them down in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God brought it tonight. Oh, yes. You see how he's blessing the church? Folks from all around the world just streaming it. The Lord is blessing me right now. Right now. The Lord is blessing me right now. Right now. May not be able to see what the Lord has done for me. The Lord is blessing me right now. Right now. The Lord is blessing me right now. Right now, the Lord is blessing me right now. Right now, be not able to see what the Lord has done to me. The Lord blessing me right now. Yeah, the Lord blessing me right now. Yes, the Lord.
say praise the Lord. Yeah, we say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Truly, our soul have been fed. Truly, our soul have been fed. Why the man of God talk with us? Our soul burned within. Truly, we thank God for Pastor Jenny preaching this glorious gospel all around the world. Truly, I thank God for looking at so many hundreds of people in this building today, tonight. We thank God for the word that's going around the world. And the devil is mad. And the devil is mad. But thank God for the word of God that's traveling by leaps and bounds. And we thank God for the devil being so mad. Thank God for him being so mad. All the way down in Mississippi, the devil is so mad. The devil is mad at me too. Just because I'm a part of this great work. But I thank God for him being mad at me. See, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier. And I don't mind the devil being mad. Because when the devil is mad, I'm so glad. I thank God for a wonderful message that the whole world will be able to see and the whole world will be able to rejoice. Could nobody do this but Pastor Jenny? The demonstration that he performed tonight, could nobody do this but him? I heard my fellow workers say it earlier tonight, or uh, this evening at that time, he said, don't take it lightly. Don't take it for granted. This is one of a kind. When if something happened to him, it, would, it could be many, many years before another man could rise up like that. It's just like it was in the biblical time. Every once in a while, a good king would rise. You had many bad kings, but every once in a while, a good king would rise. It could take a many, many years for another man to come and fill his shoes. But I want you to know something. Don't take it lightly. When you're going back to your different places, cherish these words that you are hearing. Cherish to be in the congregation of a man that can preach. A man that can stand flat-footed and preach a gospel like this. You have something to be proud of. You have something to be glad of. And I'm proud to be a part of it. I thank God I'm a part of this great ministry. Thank God. So you come on back out tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, and get another good dose. Come on back tomorrow morning and get a good dose. You know your schedule. All you do is look at your schedule and start tomorrow morning and come back out and get a good dose. I can't wait to get another good dose of this medicine. Anxious to get a good dose of this medicine before I go back down in Mississippi and fight with the devil back down in Mississippi. But thank God I have a good battery charge. My battery is fully charged. When I hit back to Mississippi, full battery. It's on full. So Mississippi, if you can see me and hear me, I'm coming back to Mississippi with a full charge. Let us look at the hills from when it comes to hell. Dear Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, please look on us right now. Lord God, we want to thank you for Pastor Jenny. Thank you, Lord God, for all the other ministers on the roster. We thank you for the word of God being preached so strong, so powerful. The devil is mad, but the angels in heaven are rejoicing. We thank God for this ministry. We thank God for the saints of God that have traveled far and near. We thank God for you. Lord God, please be with us, protect us, and bring us back on the appointed hour. May the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide with us, his peoples, henceforth, they have a devil at the church saying, Amen.